Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS feature demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure stretched clusters for VMware Cloud on AWS. Stretched clusters allow customers to deploy a single cloud SDDC across two AWS availability zones. We start the demo by deploying an SDDC with a single click and then selecting the AWS account, which will be associated with the cloud SDDC. After linking the customer AWS account, select the AWS region to deploy the cloud SDDC to. In this example, we will deploy it to the newly available London region. The stretch cluster feature can be enabled on a cloud SDDC with a simple check of a box under the availability zone option after selecting the AWS region. When the stretch cluster feature is enabled, the minimum number of hosts supported in a cloud SDDC is six. During the cloud SDDC deployment, three hosts will be provisioned in two availability zones. We will place a witness VM in a third availability zone. Additional hosts can be added later, but must be done in pairs across AWS availability zones. The stretch cluster feature requires two subnets, which will also tell us where to place your hosts. Logical networks will then be extended using NSX to support workload mobility across AWS availability zones within the cloud SDDC. As the cloud SDDC is being deployed, three hosts are provisioned in each AWS availability zone, and a vSAN stretch cluster is being created. The vSAN stretch cluster feature allows synchronous writes across two availability zones in a single cloud SDDC. A vSAN witness node appliance, which looks like an ESXi host, will also be provisioned and resides outside the cloud SDDC cluster. The vSAN witness node appliance is required in case network communication is lost. It can avoid split brain for virtual machines across AWS availability zones. Once the stretched cluster is created, the VMware cloud on AWS console will show the resources available across the two AWS availability zones and it will appear as a single logical data center in vCenter server with two fault domains. The ESXi hosts in the stretch cluster are balanced across the two AWS availability zones. To determine which availability zone a host resides in, select the summary tab of a host in vCenter server and take a look at its fault domain. This can also be viewed for all ESXi hosts at the cluster level. When provisioning a virtual machine, Customers have the option to select which availability zone the virtual machine should be placed in by selecting a cloud SDDC host in that availability zone. DRS will honor the virtual machine availability zone placement and will only move the virtual machine in case of a failure. vSphere HA will attempt to honor this placement decision if possible. Just like ESXi hosts, customers can view which availability zone a virtual machine resides in under the Summary tab of the individual virtual machine or for all virtual machines in a cloud SDDC at the cluster level. Now customers have full resiliency for their mission-critical applications across AWS availability zones with zero RPO and synchronous replication built in natively in their cloud SDDC. This concludes this video on how to configure stretched clusters for VMware Cloud on AWS. Thank you.